You just take your truck this way, we'll hook up, and you just try and pull me, like you said, get my front tires up here, or my whole truck, and then we'll just try and bomb right up out one at a time. Okay. All right. Hold there. Good. Hold there. Ready when you are.
I was once again watching another season quickly slip away for the second year in a row now with a tag still in my pocket heading into late season. I had hunted extremely hard, just hoping for one opportunity at either the two bucks I was after. Low nine has proven over the last couple years to be an extremely tough animal to hunt. And funky, a big mature seven point that only I had hoped to put a tag on. We've made it to the farm. Yay. Four wheeling? Yeah, on the four wheeling. Where's your gloves? Get your gloves. Yeah, get your gloves butt on the on the seat. Get over 
here does. At this point in the season, I had begun to concentrate more on just enjoying myself, spending the time with family and not really worrying about which deer I got a chance at. During our late season muzzleloader, we had the opportunity to hunt with our good friend Mark Boardman from Vortex, and we were excited to spend the week together. We can access about 80% of it, or see 80% of it just from driving the roads. Yeah, that's what it was looking like. I mean, you guys were saying that, and then looking at the map, you can kind of skirt it, and yep. not be super intrusive, and yep. get the yep. lay of the land pretty good. That's a different buck. Here, here's the two of them. There's that smaller one, and then there's him behind it, and that's at, but just so you're not like, I shot Funky, who there, you know, like, Fork on the left is Funky, and he's the older of the, all the deer. If you, the center of that, uh, field right there. If you were to walk straight up the hill, that's where that little food plot is I was talking about. Whether it's tonight or tomorrow, if there's something coming out in these fields, because they'll winter, it'll come out in this field. Yeah. Then we could, you know, make a move or you hide in the hedgerow or something, and you know, the next night. Just go out there and sit out in that yeah. brush. Yeah. Have you ever dreamed of working in the outdoor industry and unsure of what that next step should be? Film the Hunt, the industry's leader in production education and the most trusted source for job placement.
just got settled in probably five minutes ago. Just spotted two nice bucks. They kind of skirted the timber line heading left. But hopefully they continue to wrap around and maybe want to come out and feed this direction. But both nice bucks. be surprised that I chose low nine over funky but I was asked that question a couple weeks ago and I said it would be low nine if I had that choice and I just got that choice baby yeah yes. looking back it all I seen. that's the trees right there that we saw him disappear behind Look at that, look at his brown <laughs> It ain't the town, it ain't the sweat. It's looking back with hell and regrets. Oh, yeah. 
land and I'm trying